In my freshman year, my friends and I noticed a lack of diversity at our college. So that's why we started an organization called Color Me Blind. Okay, let's get started, you guys. We have a lot to cover today, and we only have a week till the diversity rally. But let's first give ourselves a round of applause, because we've been doing some excellent work. But now it's game time, you guys. It's time to focus all of our energy to this thing, because we want our school to hear us when we say, hey, you know, it's time for a change. But first, I want to introduce to you all the newest member of Color Me Blind, a girl who I think is going to bring a lot to this group, Miss Caroline Jenkins. <laughs> Hi everybody, um, I'd just like to say my name is Carolyn, and um, I, um, uh, uh, racism is something that I feel strongly about as well. But I, I would Caroline like was just awesome, you know? I was so glad when she walked through the door, because I thought to myself, I thought, she can really bring something special to the group. So we have this really big diversity rally coming up next week, actually, and it really is important to all of us because it's actually our first action as the organization Color Me Blind. Guys, I, I really think the Harriet Tubman idea is, um, is, is great, yeah. but I do think we should touch on the subject of immigration, just because it's... Caroline was saying some great things. The whole thing was just really real. They're just trying to live the American dream, you know? I mean, that's... What okay, we're really I like what you're saying, yeah. and I think it's important, but I don't know if it's exactly what we're trying to discuss at this particular round. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's fine. Actually, um, there's something else I wanted to okay. bring up to this okay. uh, inner city youth uh, uh, mentoring program. Yeah, you know what? Actually, we only have this room for another half hour, you guys. Yeah. Um, and we really have to move on. I think this stuff's great, but I think you should bring it up at the meeting that follows mm -hmm. the rally. Yeah, okay. The, the uh, next. Right. Okay. So moving on. The thing that's really weird about Caroline is that I feel this deep connection with her. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, it's it's just I've only known her for a short period of time, but she's just so down to earth. I can't even put it into another word besides earthy. Okay, so we have Malcolm X, Kwanzaa. We, reggae song. Right. Yes. You guys, brainstorm. Caroline should speak at the yes. rally. Yes, that'd be awesome. Oh my god, oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. I don't think that'd be a good idea, guys. Oh, I, come I can't on. Lie. Caroline may not want to admit it, but she does have a quality about her that I see, and I think that you see too. Which quality? The leadership quality. Oh, yeah. And also, you know, yeah. she could bring people to their feet like none of us could. No. Like, I couldn't do it, and I don't think you could either. <laughs> no. She'll be giving her speech, you know, doing her thing, and people will rise to their feet and swing their arms and go, Amen, Sister Caroline! Hallelujah, Deacon! <laughs> I don't know. But... Well, I don't know if she's religious, but... <laughs> Come on, Caroline, we're all going to say something. We are? Well, no, no, but, um, Caroline, you should. Yeah, you should be one of the primary speakers, really. Yeah, You'd be okay. great. Yeah, I'm flattered, but I just don't want to do it, okay? I, it would make oh, me really uncomfortable. Oh, but it would be awesome. Yeah. Like, you could talk about, you know, what it was like for you to grow up in the city. It'd be great. Yeah. But I don't really think Bowie, Maryland is a city. I mean, I pretty much grew up in the city. No, 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 yeah. that's not what I meant. Yeah. I didn't mean that. I meant, I meant, like, a metaphor for growing up. In the city. Yeah, yeah you, you, I really think that metaphor uh, uh, applies. How about, how about this? How about life. I just I have a great Dr. King quote you could read. We will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. <laughs> Caroline had a reservations, which was kind of an obstacle, but you know we worked it out. Dr. King truly had a great vision, but I'm not as qualified to talk about it as Miss Caroline Jenkins. She's a little shy. Let's get her up here. Hi, everybody. Um, uh, it's Carolyn, and um, I'd just like to say that immigration what the hell was that? Yeah, yeah, you were okay, 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 first of all, it's Carolyn, and secondly, I thought you guys had your hearts in the right places, but you obviously don't. I mean, you can't just expect to parade me around like a stupid mascot. You know, it's a real shame that Caroline had to leave the group considering all she had to offer, but to bring up immigration at a diversity rally? That's just ridiculous. I guess when you get right down to it, Caroline and the group didn't see eye to eye because she didn't want to make the same difference that we did. And it's a shame that she It's didn't. a huge it's a shame. shame. It's a big shame. There's no doubt about that because she is an asset to this group and we're all going to, to feel that loss because she was smart. She was organized. She was, yes, yeah, she was organized. She, she was, was really organized. She was focused. She was articulate, which is a very good quality to have. And she, she brought an overall positive vibe to the group that all of us are really going to miss. Plus, she was black.
Hallelujah.